What's going on guys? Welcome to my tutorial in Adobe Photoshop CS6. This is the new beta version of Photoshop that's coming out. And I just wanted to show you guys this new feature called Webcam Snap 2. This is a feature that allows you to use your hands as a mouse. And I thought this was a great feature to show you. So let's get started. I'm going to come over here to Image and then I'm going to go over to Blur. Now what I'm doing with my hands is just expanding. So if you notice that when you look at this feature, you're going to see the circle go in and then it's going to go out and I'm just trying to coordinate my hands if I can. <laughs> it's a little bit difficult to get used to but you see that I'm moving it in and the camera is recognizing my hands. Now if I come over to the mouse I can turn it and I'm just trying to move my finger along that circle and it's pretty easy to use I mean I'm just motioning my hands and the camera is actually picking up this feature and we can just expand it. Now if you want to change anything, just go OK and then we can save it. And we can use another feature called uh, Undo, which is just like Control Z. And I can just do this and it will undo the um, feature for me. Now the next thing we want to do is, let's just take this brush. And we can take a brush size here. Let's come over here. And let me just start brushing the picture, just like you would do in the real Photoshop with a brush and your mouse and we can change the color here. We can just take the brush size here and just start blurring it. Now to adjust the image size all you have to do is do this and you can pinch your finger together and you'll get your image size and if you want to change the pixels you can actually do a voice command and go width 500 and it will change it on the screen so you don't even have to type. So it also has some voice recognition too for like numbers and everything. And we can also use this cool tool called the patch tool. Rather than selecting the patch tool, we can just say patch tool and it will actually pick it up. Or you can point with your mouse and pick that. What I'm going to do is just select it with my finger and then just move it. And it's really simple to do. I mean, it doesn't get any easier than this. And we can retouch. Um, what else do I want to show you guys? One of the coolest things I do like about this that I thought uh, the developers were pretty smart by doing all you have to do is snap your finger and you can actually close the project. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Cheers.